Good morning everyone, so we are here now sa office ng aming guidance counselor here sa Agusan National High School, Senior High School and I am so privileged na makausap siya at maitanong ang lahat ng bagay that I am curious about and I'm sure sa mga nanonood ngayon, meron din kayong mga concerns about this particular office so at least matututunan natin by watching this particular video so first and foremost Ma'am G, ano po ang isang title ng guidance counselor? Before siya maging guidance counselor, ano yung um, sir, registered... Guidance counselor. Ah, registered guidance counselor. Pa paano siya maating mo? Uh, before you become a guidance counselor, at least you just have to take an undergrad course or four years of course and then you have to take... Any courses ba yan, ma'am? Pwede, pwede kang... yeah. Ah, so any courses pala yan. But uh, in my case, I'm a psychology major undergrad and then uh, I... I went into a job which is um, guidance and counseling, so I took up masters of arts in education, the guidance and counseling. Ah, okay. Yeah, and then I took the board exam. Then uh, I passed. Then. Kundi lang po ang pumapasa sa ano na yan, licensure. Yeah. Mahirap. Kasi may makakilala ako talagang tagal po nilang naipasa ang licensure na ito. Yeah, you have kasi you really have to uh, finish. Master's degree before you can take. Ah, exam. so mataas ang qualification yes. before you can take this. Kasi yung yung sa left, pwede naman pag graduate mo sa, yeah, sa college, well, you can take naman, di ba? Pero ito, dapat master's degree ka oh, there, yes. before kang makapag-take. Yeah. Ah, okay. Bakit kailangan, Ma'am Chi? Ano yung ini-insure ng, ng, ano na to, ng licensure na ito? Bakit kailangan? Professionalism. Ah, okay. Because you, you cannot, you, you're dealing with life, so you really have... Mahirap kasi i-handle ang tao. Mm -hmm. You have to be professional in your dealings with them. At, at the same time, you know how your job as a guidance counselor, you know counseling, you yes. know how to, to do the counseling. That yeah. is why professionalism, uh, it's, it's actually under RA 9258. Okay. Uh, the Republic Act until 9258. So, it's a professionalism act of guidance counseling. So, mahirap po talagang ipasa. So, we are so privileged na license po ang ating kakausapin yeah. for this morning. So, question ko po, Ma'am G, ano po talaga ang pinaka-main job ng isang guidance counselor sa school? Kasi, I'm sure lahat naman, di ba? Kasi nung high school ako, I kasi remember, meron din naman po kami guidance counselor. Pero, and we also have the office, pero she's an English teacher ah, sa kami school. So, sa atin dito sa Agusang High, Senior High School, and even in Junior High, we are so privileged kasi mga license po ang ating mga guidance counselor. Yeah. So, ano po ang pinaka-main job ng isang guidance counselor ng Jean? Okay, as a guidance counselor, guidance counseling is a helping profession. So, as a guidance counselor, we are here to help individuals overcome their challenges and obstacles in life, be it in academic, personal, social, or career. So, almost all aspects ka nilang buhay, Ma'am G, pwede lang i-share sa iyo. Pwede. Pwede siya kung mag-ask ng mga mga advices yes. or anything else. Ah, mm, okay. Okay. We will help them the, the, uh, develop their uh, their personal, uh, not yeah. personality, but develop them into what they will become in the future. Especially in high school, Ma'am G, no, na ang mga estudyante natin, marami pa silang mga katanungan about their lives and everything yes. else. So, yun ang pinaka-role ninyo to guide them. Yes, no? guide, help them, assist them, and uh, developing what it can become in the future. So, basing, uh, utilizing their own pot potential actually. Yeah, so, basing on their needs, abilities, and skills. So, we can become what we want to be in, in yeah, life as well as, oh yes, ah, using their own potential, good. developing them to be what they want. Yeah. They want they want to become in the yes. future. So ma'am, ano yung pinaka-challenging na uh, part sa yung career? Kasi si ma'am G po, is matagal na po talaga siyang guidance counselor. Yeah. Mga ilang Hindi years na ma'am G. <laughs> <laughs> very, <laughs> very fresh pa po siya, pero napakatagal na po niya in the service actually. Palapakay po natin yeah. si ma'am G. Grabe po ang service, mm. service ni ma'am G. Ang daming offers sa kanya na mga iba't ibang mm. job, opportunities, pero 
na natili si Ma'am G sa kanyang profession kasi she really wants to serve students, no? So we are so privileged po dito sa Agusa National High School kasi meron po tayong Ma'am G dito sa senior mm. high. So Ma'am G, sa iyong career, ilang years ka na Ma'am G as guidance counselor? Almost 25 years. Oh my G, silver year, almost 25 yeah. years na po si Ma'am G. Pero ang face, yeah. <laughs> para lang siyang kakadibo. <laughs> Ganun talaga. Okay. <laughs> so, Ma'am Chisa, sa 25 years na yan, ano yung pinaka-challenging na part sa iyo? Or, kumbaga, dumating ba sa point na yung sharing or yung problem na na-share ng estudyante sa iyo is na-apektuhan ka masyado or something like that, Ma'am Chisa? Yes, of course. Challenging for me because I, I also have my own, uh, you know, journey in life. But when I... Um, Encounter such problems with the students it really hurt me, especially when uh, they really want to end their lives. Uh, they, uh, they are going to depression or whatsoever. It, it really affects me because um, sometimes I get into uh, no, uh, the empathy that I have yes, so yes, much, yes. and then I, parabang, uh, at the end of the day, emotionally, I am drained. Hmm. Parang pumasok, parang ikaw ang naging absorber ng lahat ng mga problema, Ma'am Jean. <laughs> Para sa ating mga estudyante na. Um, concern ko lang, Ma'am Jean, yung mga nagsishare about mga financial problems. Kasi mahirap ito, no? Kasi of course, Ma'am Jean cannot also provide that kind of problem na magbigay sa iyo ng financial support. Ano yung ginagawa natin siya, Ma'am Jean? Kasi ang problema niya is financial problem and we cannot also provide them with that. Yes. So, ano yung ginagawa ng guidance counselor in that particular situation? Depending if uh, the how or what the financial uh, problem is about. Like for example, he just need job. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, financially he cannot sustain his studies or whatever. I usually um, uh, send suggest them or suggest uh, a job for them, look for a job for them, mm -hmm. and I suggest a job for them. And then I also, I also ask my colleagues if you need somebody to work for them. Kasi na, na ano ko sa ano, post mo last time, na nag-conduct kayo ng ano yung mga G, yung about sa job opportunities ng ating grade 12 students. Ah, ano yeah, ba, career orientation. Ah, so under pa rin siya sa iyong office. Oh, yung career yeah. orientation. Mm -hmm. Ano yung purpose natin doon, Ma'am Chi? Bakit kailangan, before silang umalis sa senior high school, they have that kind of uh, parang seminar or training, kumbaga, yung career orientation for our grade 12 students? So that our students will have an informed decision. Ah, okay. We will have a decision, now uh, informed decision. So Mimi, informed decision, you have all the, the information that we have so that you can make a wise decision in the future also. So, ina-advise ba dyan na pwede kang hindi mag-aral or you chose na lang na magtrabaho na lang? So, ano yung talagang purpose, a target niyan, Ma'am Chi? Um, you are advising them na they can have an another way para mag-survive pa rin aside from continuing studies, something like that? Yes. Binibigyan niyo sila ng idea na, okay, you can, you can land a good job or a job even if hindi kayo nakapagtapos ng college? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, in our grade 12 exits, we have curriculum exits like, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Job, uh -huh. uh, trabaho, college, or uh, uh, negosyo. Oh, in negosyo entrepreneurship, and of course, in those sales training. Yes. So, uh, you will be given up choices so that where kung saan ka pwedeng maka, maka you will develop so oh. if, if, if this time you cannot afford college yet you can uh, attend test the courses of course training so them. ito yung time ma'am Gina bibigyan niyo sila ng idea kung, yes, baka, kung ano yung path na because oh, na, na, kasi at the end of the day sila pa rin ang mabibili yes. and you can also choose because of what's best for you for this time for it, for it. and then you have longer terms or for long long term goals so you need to choose what is um, helpful for you at this moment and then you if, if ever ah, hindi ka pa yes, makapag-aral yes. ngayon of course you can do jobs or may work attend test the courses free man lang din ang test da or uh, grab an opportunity for scholarship and then proceed to college if you have the time and the money already so maganda talaga no na pumunta tayo dito sa guidance office no Para at least ma mabigyan tayo ng mga advices kung ano yung path na iti-take natin, di ba? Especially kung grade 12 na tayo ngayon, or sa mga incoming grade 12, you can really ask Ma'am G for that. Na, 
mga advices ng Chino, para para at least di ba? So, um, papaano mo na handle yung mga problems, Ma'am G? Because I'm sure you have a lot of problems na na-encounter mo in the field. For 25 years, yes. ako nga, 5 years pa lang ako in teaching, pero ang dami ko ng problema na encounter. Pero si Ma'am G, 25 years na po siya. So, papaano mo kinope up yung lahat, Ma'am G? Ah, oh, of course, you just have to... Uh, number one, yes, consult your colleagues, like uh, the guidance counselors like me. It's not bad if you are um, asking something. Uh, yes, for those who are also in the same field with you, you can ask them for support, okay? And ask them for consultation. Or you can, you may consult, especially if the problem is more, more than. Uh, so meaning to say, Mom G, for even if twenty five years can in the service, you are still improving yourself. Yes. There are things that you don't know the happen, yes. and you are asking to yes. some people. Because the world is evolving. There Perfect. are some things na sa una, I'm sa una. No, it's yeah. just obsolete already now. So we really so have to... So changes, kailangan updated pa rin tayo. Mm -hmm. So yun, um, pinak I, that's how. Another thing, Ma'am Chi, meron pa bang way on how you are going to cope up some of the problems that you encounter in the field? Um, that's one, na nagtatanong ka talaga, you have to ask. Yes. To, uh, to ask. Uh, with regards to your to the support of the, the office or the program, of course, you have to consult the administrators. You have to tell them. And with, in terms of, uh, I have a problem with the uh, misconception of guidance office or guidance center, the guidance services actually. Correct. Because people or students, teachers, parents, when they are called into the guidance office yeah, or correct. they can hear guidance counselor or guidance, yeah. they are afraid and they won't come to you or just reach out to you because they feel that you will be disciplined. Correct. But it's not. Correct. Guidance counselors and the guidance center is here to help you, assist you in whatever way we can. So if you hear the word guidance next time... There's a wrong notion of Yes, you know, misconception. Misconception though. about the word. Kasi, mm -hmm. Kaya natatakot ang mas jante na mag-ask sa guidance kasi before talaga ma'am G sa time ko sa high school pag nag-guidance ka meaning to say you have done something wrong yeah. kaya nakapunta ka sa guidance nakatakot yun yung pinatawag ng pa ang parents mo because kailangan pumunta kayo ng guidance negative talaga ang connotation ma'am G which is wrong so dapat i-correct natin siya yeah, no misconception talaga guidance is here to help you Correct. in whatever whatever challenges you have so come to the guidance office talk to me anytime ah that not in evening of course <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, dapat naman hindi yeah. naman office hours lang you can ask mom g anything so may mga punto na ba mom g na umiyak talaga sa harapan mo ang estudyante yes, mo nagiyakan ang mother at saka yung anak many times so ano ang reaction mo diyan mom g because for me baka iiyak din ako sa mga situation na yan iiyak ka talaga personal so ah, iiyak ka rin no no it's a professional ah, uh, you know so kailangan you have to control yes, your emotion if your if your client is crying you don't have to cry with them you just have to say empathize with okay. them but at times well, when i'm scared that we am just human you know but i did not i i, I cannot let them see me crying also. yeah we well, can control them yeah well, i you can see it in my eyes but you have to be objective because when you are dealing with that client yeah. So, kailangan talaga, um, hindi mo ipakita sa kanila na umiyak ka na, pero you are affect, being affected yeah, also with the situation. Because you empathize with them. You uh -huh. know how they are feeling. Uh -huh. That's the number one role of a guidance counselor. Uh, you have to empathize with the feelings and whatever the client is undergoing. Okay. So, you have to empathize with them. So, you, you have to feel what they feel. Correct, correct. You have to undergo what they are undergoing, but you do not to the extent that you are carried away with them. Yeah, correct. Yes. So, um, at this juncture, personally, I just want to share also, no, because um, I've been um, counseled by Mom, Mom G also. Many times na rin ako nakapunta dito sa office with some of the things, no. This is reality na nangyayari talaga. Because we are also human and we are also growing. That marami talagang mistakes na may encounter. And one of the things that I observed ko talaga kay Ma'am G, pag siya yung nakikinig, pag nagbigay na siya ng kanyang line after everybody is speaking, talagang balance, equal. Kasi si Ma'am G, hindi siya, parang hindi niya tinutumbok na ikaw ang may mali, ikaw lang ang may mali. Ang balance, equal talaga. Bakit, ano yun Ma'am G, etiquette ba talaga yun sa iyong profession? Kasi 
that's what I observe and feel ha. Pag si Ma'am G talaga ang nagbigay ng kanyang ng kanyang conclusion on the kind of situation, totoo ito na sharing no. Um nakikil ko na hindi ako ang super mali sa situation. Parang naibibigay niya yung balance no in the situation na ito ang nagawa mo pero I appreciated you because you have this kind of initiative. Ikaw naman so, paano mo yung natutunan ang technique na yun, Ma'am G? Because I really appreciated that kind of judgment in a situation. Yes, that's the price of becoming a professional guidance counselor. Mm -hmm. When you are a professional guidance counselor, you know how to balance things and you know, be objective so, uh, of, of the, uh, the situation and then assessing. Yeah, as I so, kailangan talaga, Ma'am G, hindi tayo mag-conclude kung hindi natin na-remake ang both sides. Yes, of Kailangan course. talaga yan. Yes. Kasi usually, Ma'am G, no, mm -hmm. hindi pa na-remake ang kabilang side, nag nagkaroon na ng verdict. Yes. So, that's part also of um, yes. professionalism na iyong. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. Ako, ako, as a professional, as a guidance counselor, I see to it that I really have to listen to every angle of the story. Mm -hmm. Kailangan talaga marinig ang ano. So, paano mo siya gina-justify, Ma'am G? Ano yung mga, parang mga keywords or mga lines na kinukuha mo na ito, i-justify ko ito sa kanya? Paano mo siya tinitingnan ang isang situation? Kasi, of course, for 25 years, I'm sure on the spotan po ang mga problems na pumapasok sa kanyang office. Hindi naman po yan scripted lahat. Diba? So, iba't iba po ang mukha ng problema na kinakaharap. So, ano yung mga tinitingnan mo usually, Ma'am G, sa mga karaniwang um, problems na dinadala dito sa iyong office? Actually, there are techniques. Ah, okay. Techniques and uh, methods in counseling that we have to employ. So, that is why training is very important to in your hand. That's why we have professionalism and guidance of feeling. That you really have to apply it so that you will be effective as a guidance counselor. Because nobody will come to you if you will not be a yeah, correct, correct. counselor. Correct. That's so, uh, Ma'am G, honesty is very difficult to be measured. Paano mo siya, parang, di ba, nagsalita siya, nagsalita siya. So, paano mo tinitingnan ngayon na itong tao na ito, um, nagsasabi siya ng katotohanan or something like that? Or do we need to identify that one, Ma'am G, or hindi na kailangan? We have to because have, uh, what if it's just, you know, uh, manipulating you. Correct, correct. So, you really have to be wise also. And you know how to be, I mean, identify those people. I mean, there are character traits of a person. So, sa mata, nakikita mo, para na-observe mo sa mga gestures. Gestures, actions. Ah, so, ina-observe mo yan lahat ng chi. Yes, and the words that, and then also the consistency of how we speak. Yeah, the consistency sa kanyang mga speeches, kung ano yung sinasabi niya. Kasi baka, eto yung sinabi niya ngayon, tapos later on, uh, later on, on bago na naman. So parang there's a question mark na doon. And there's something so, wrong. Oh, there's something wrong na sa kanyang mga statements. So, yes. Ang hirap po, no? Parang nag-feel ko, ayaw ko na mag-ano. <laughs> ayaw ko mag-proceed sa ganitong profession. Super hirap niyo, Ma'am G. Actually, it's my passion to help. Ah, uh, okay. Kaya, I really want to to be a guidance counselor. I really choose to be a guidance counselor actually. So forever na ba ito, Ma'am G? Parang until retirement na ba ito? Hopefully, yes. Because I'm... I don't... Siguro, no? Ang dami ng mga sudyante na ito treasure kay Ma'am G. Sa lahat, I'm sure, for 25 years, ang dami mo nang natulungan na ngayon mga successful people na sila. Kasi, sometimes sumabasa po sa ano ni Ma'am G sa kanyang Facebook account na nagpapasalamat yung mga sudyante na nag-aaral dito. Ilang taon na ang nakalipas, but they cannot forget, Ma'am G. So, meaning to say, you guided them well. Ay, salamat naman. No, na parang ang feeling ko talaga, nakapagbigay si Ma'am... Kasi ako, ay, I usually also ask Ma'am G for anything. So, sa ngayon, mas nakilala ko siya, kasi noon natatakot din akong pumunta dito. <laughs> That's, that, but it's normal yan sa ating mga connotation noon, what is guidance of this? Kasi you learned that oh, before. I learned that before na ganun ang kanyang definition. Pero ngayon, Let's correct according to Ma'am G. Um, welcome kayong pumunta dito because hindi yan ang definition talaga ng guidance office. Yes. Kung may mga concerns about sa life, everything else, sa buhay nyo, you can ask Ma'am G. Pero paano Ma'am G kung the problem is within the family? Ah. Paano mo siya kinocontrol or parang gina-justify yung problem? Kasi we are solving problems of others 
and challenging part sa atin ngayon is Papaano naman kung ang problema is naka-fall sa ating mismo family? Ano yung approach yeah. ng isang guidance counselor? Actually, in the junior high or high school or the underage, you really have to consider and uh, really have to include the parents ah, okay. with the situation that we have. Especially, it's a family problem. I really have to include them when I'm doing counseling or conference. I really have to include them. It's not if I Pero Ma'am G, pero Ma'am G kung mismo ang problem talaga is nasa family mo talaga yung sa mga anak mo for example, mm, like yung what? yung discipline ba ni Ma'am G na ginagawa niya from other student, same pa rin ba yung discipline na gagawin niya sa kanyang mga anak? Like for example, kung paano ko inadvise ang estudyante ng Agusan High, ganun din ba ang i-advise ko sa ating anak? Something like that Ma'am G. It depends upon the situation. Because there are there are also situations that needs discipline. We yeah. have to be disciplined, of course. But depending on the situation, each one of us is unique. Cool. So each one of us has to. You have to deal with each other according to the uniqueness that we have. So it might work on the other children, but it might not work to the other children also. So you find ways and how to help them. So, ito talaga yung na-observe ko sa mga guidance counselor, no? They are so open-minded talaga to everything. Yung mga mga, wala bang discrimination, you cannot feel discriminated talaga. Kasi, yung ibang tao, pag makita nilang you are gay, you are lesbian, or anything about gender, parang hindi nila matanggap, no? But here po sa guidance office with Ma'am G also, you can really feel na talagang you are so much welcome. Yes, of you, course. So, yun talaga ang na-feel ko, Ma'am G. For two oh, years yeah, of, <laughs> of ano, staying in the school, na nakilala ko si Ma'am G, of course. Kasi yes. alam mo, ilang ulit na rin akong pumasok sa guidance <laughs> office. Oh, of course, totoo. With all those, oh yeah, with all those kanang mga learnings from Ma'am G also. Di ba? Kasi sometimes ako aminado na even ako teacher na ako, kagaya na sinabi ni Ma'am G na siya rin ay um, also growing, even sa kanyang 25 years of service. So, huwag tayong matakot at huwag tayong mahiya na magtanong, no? Yes. Especially pag yung mga bagay na hindi natin kayang isolve. Mm -hmm. Kasi may mga pagkakataon kasi, Ma'am Gina, feeling ko sa sarili ko, tama yung aking desisyon. Pero kung titingnan pala natin in a broader school, mali pala siya. Yes. So, something like that na only other people can correct you and can give you that enlightenment na hindi mo kayang gawin sa sarili mo. So, that's siguro ang pinaka-highlight ng role ng isang guidance counselor, no? Na ipamulat sa atin kung ano yung tama at saka mali. Na sometimes, hindi natin na-observe sa ating mga sarili. Di ba, Ma'am G? Mm -hmm. Ang daling tingnan ang mistakes ng ibang tao, pero ang hirap tingnan ito sa ating sarili. Yes. Di ba, Ma'am G? No. Ang hirap kasi we always consider ourselves as Correct. Pero yung iba, ang dali nating ma-identify yung kanilang mga mistakes. So, what is your message to all our students, Ma'am G? Especially sa ngayong pandemic, Ma'am G, na ang daming problema that they cannot solve. May problema nga noon na wala pang pandemic. How much more ngayon na we are facing the global crisis? So, ano yung um, pinaka-advice talaga ng isang guidance counselor in this particular moment? What you are, whatever you are undergoing right now, remember it's not permanent. But you can always call on people, talk to people if you need help. It's not a crime to ask for help. So if you need help, just ask Mom G. <laughs> just ask Mom G and you have the answer. You have the final answer. You have the best answer. So um, I think um, that's all for today's video and I'm so very privileged and so happy Giyod nga. Um, on one chat, I would like to give, um, parang i-highlight itong portion na ito na sa isang chat ko lang kay Ma'am G talaga, pumayag siya with this napaka simple pa lang naman na YouTube channel pero pumayag siya na maging guest ng aking show. Ma'am G, I'm so first happy. Time also, yeah, first time pa niya talagang mag-guest at mag-YouTube. Pero wala talaga siyang second thought, Golden Chavers. Talagang pumayag siya na ma-interview on the spot, walang script. Kahit ano, diretsyo kami talaga for this morning. So I'm so privileged and thankful. Ma'am G, thank you so much yeah, for allowing me na ma-interview ka. At of course, 
um, free tayong maramdaman ang wisdom po ng nag-iisang Ma'am G dito sa Agusa National High School, Senior High School. Yes. So, um, that will be all for this morning. Thank you so much for watching. See you once again for the next video. Bye-bye!